Hey you guys and welcome back to episode 21 of Freedom. Let's get straight into things. Freedom versus Jenkins. This is gonna be so exciting. Oh wait, no. Let me? Wait, so you've met Sadie before. Okay, I did not expect us to start off like that. I thought we would definitely go straight into the Freedom versus Denki part that we have been looking forward to. But no, I do wonder if that was Seri's memories or if that was Freedom's memories. Because it could be both. The world of magic. That's a grand title. Great destroy of magic lies in searching for us. Wait, you trained on this. You didn't take that offer, did you? I don't feel like Freedom worked. But I think that's the point, especially concerning Freedom's long life. Oof. I don't want one. Excuse you? Is that not the definition of burning ambition? To search for her own magic? Rather than be handed a grandma? And that's why we like you, Flemmy. You can't imagine yourself living in a peaceful era, huh? She's like, good answer, but this is now where you die. Well, no, no, obviously Freeran um, is going to kill, but she does need to win. Earth versus Ice, not the best matchup, I feel. And Kana can't use any water. I think you guys should really take this fight to somewhere where there is water, if there is any left. Because you're fighting on his terrain. Yeah, you seem like an extreme type. Mm-hmm. Shields haven't developed to block. Oh. And so that's why you specialize in this type of magic. Oh, okay, you weren't planning on killing us, thank God. Okay, that's true. Okay, that bluff didn't work at all. It's too logical about it. Lying. Oh, you are poking a little bit at his pride. Let's go! She's probably older though. <laughs> Oof. Flame tornado! Okay, okay. I feel like, yeah, a little bit too flashy. The barrier was created by the great mage Sadi. But someone's been analysing the barrier. We only know one person that would do that. You're looking at her. Well, no, no, not Denkin. You're looking at her. <laughs> Catastrovia. That was catastrophic as I thought it was going to be. Uh, 
Hello. Ooh. Is that it? I'm out of mana. And I always laugh for the alliance, just like, kind of emotionless look. That's brutal. You should have never taken for the alliance Dilly in the first place. Did she just kick him in the nuts? <laughs> I know she wouldn't. Yeah. Just walk away. Nah. Nah. Pretty bad. You wouldn't. Noise. <laughs> Because Rerun was analyzing her Jura was it magic before? Is there a spell you're after? You want to go back home? And we know... Oh damn! Okay, okay, you can have us, Dilly! <laughs> No, it mostly looked like Richard was giving them a magic glasser. However, it looks like everyone's quite confident that they'll win. I just been analyzing the barrier. Oh, okay, okay, maybe not. They don't stand a chance. Because the barriers don't work anymore either. They know that. What is she gonna do? What is she gonna do? It's impossible? Hmm. Even if the world was, oh, you're about to eat your words. So she's the last great right? She's really done it. A thousand years since okay. I can't believe you just did that. But that said though, we can finally see Can they pop off? You think it's that strong? Even you can't imagine it. I can't believe she kind of did this so kind of could be free with her magic. Ooh, ooh, ooh. No, 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 no. That will be plenty. Okay, now Earth versus Water, this matchup I prefer. Let's go, sweetie. There's no way for me to run anyways. Fair enough. Oh my god, I love the way. Frida, you could have blocked it. I love it. She just like hopped to the side. I was like, nah. Let's go, team. I love how he just washed up with them. In between Jenkins' legs. Oh my god, I just love the little details. Ooh. That works, yeah. You guys still have two hours, come on. Um... True that, true that. We need to get Denkin home. 
You should die to him. It's the free that. True that as well. Sour grapes? <gasps> For here, we don't, we don't, we don't talk about that one. <laughs> we competing against one another. Well, that seeing through clothes one is gonna really get you. <laughs> But they can't pass anyway. Oh, but it wouldn't set right for them. Yeah, Didn't you say you don't have any magic left? Neither have any magic left. Oh, we're doing this. Let's go. <laughs> Deku looks so boss, though. I guess he's like, we settle this with this. He enjoyed that. He fully enjoyed that. <laughs> Let's see. The Denki yeah, I mean I love how that they're, they're just like all oh, now we look to each other. Starting I'm so happy it's scary, really. Real rough, bud. Real rough. Ah, <laughs> oh, I miss Stato. I will definitely have to say, as much as I love this arc, I did wish Stato was somehow um involved. Obviously, he can't be like, you know, it's a mage examination, so I do miss our boy Stato. But at least he's having the time of his life at the bar, complaining kind of about his freedom. Anyways. But damn, what an absolutely amazing episode. Where it did indeed teach us a lot more about the world of magic. And I think the obviously biggest thing about this episode was in a way, Freelan declaring magical war on Seti. I think that's where we kind of had that flashback. We can see that their ideologies kind of clash, like their purpose for livings do indeed clash, because Freelan is about the magic of freedom, whereas Seti thrives with the magic of war. And they're both like the last greatest mages. So the fact that a barrier that Seti puts up Freelan was able to break was a major declaration that she is coming for Seti. You know, last week I talked about how. In the opening, we, we do see both Freeran and Fedden at some kind of like magical gate. So that's why I feel like Eddie and Freeran will eventually clash. But yeah, that's for later. Oh, and I also love how we finally got to see Kano pop off because, you know, she hasn't been able to go fall out with the lack of rain. So yeah, I love how she got her moments. And Deccan as well, very impressive with his kind of last will to fight to even to involve fists i know i feel like that says a lot about the mage he is because we know that mages are quite prideful so yeah that's what i personally felt like for him to be able to like drop all of that since he had no mana but still we could see like that desperate will to fight till the end even using fists and it did seem like it, it works and he looked hella boss so yeah i just feel like that said a lot about his character and obviously we found out that he is indeed from the northern region which is currently locked down to only first class mages so he does want to return home because yeah i do believe he's a dwarf like aizen and we had that episode in regards to aizen about visiting graves so i do feel like there is like a culture with the dwarves in regards to like maintaining that tradition so that's why he definitely needs to become a first class mate so he can return back home but yeah with that next time i do believe we are diving into test number two which i can't wait to see what it'll entail so with that make sure you guys say awesome and i'll definitely hope you guys next time